reclaim his seat in Congress from Democrat T.J. Cox. CBS 47's Madaris Babb joins us live from Cox's office in Selma. Madaris. Well, Catherine, back in 2018, Cox won by a narrow margin. In fact, only 862 votes. Well, while the two go head to head once again, it's been a bitter back and forth. Uh, Cox's opponent, Republican David Valadeo, held the seat from 2012 to 2018, even though it has more registered Democrats than Republicans. Valadeo did win in the primary this year, but there has been record breaking turnout for this general election. And with such a tight race, the two have continuously gone back and forth through social media and TV ads. Valadeo scrutinizing Cox's finances because of alleged unpaid taxes and Cox fighting fire with fire, claiming Valadeo has always voted with Trump. Cox telling me tonight that even his supporters are ready for the ads to be over. My friends say, TJ, if I see you again on TV or on Twitter or on YouTube, right, I'm going to kill you. But, uh, but, but uh, you know, but I tell you what, there's so much spent on these races for one reason because they're worth it, right? Standing up for people, you know, uh, making sure that you can be able to make a difference. This race isn't just a major one locally, it also is for nationwide, and that's because depending on the outcome, it could really have a big impact on who will control the House. Reporting live from Selma, Madeira's Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.